Separate. Separate. As far as I know, there's you mean, GW2 League dot, or GW League.com and there's also Miss League.com. No, G, it's just GW League. It's not GW2. GW League.com. Yeah. And that's going to be the, the one that's a cow. Yeah. Um, anyway, game starting. And we got this weird lag again. I don't know why that does that. So anyway, we had we had golems coming up by everyone there. Just all of you were over here looking at it. And they're all just splitting normally. So we're going to the map to see where the splits are going. Uh, one Mesmer crossing. We're going to have two of them go for, it looks like, either Spiny or to go up around the back. They're going to head up around the back. Meanwhile, the same, Necros are going to do the same exact thing, except they're going to send two of their people to directly to the point. We're going to look at Hen real quick to see what's going on, and we'll come back over. Uh, nice job, actually, there. Uh, Mesmera actually held him off the point. It is more than like, yep, Rira is going to back off after this because he's realizing that. He's not going to be able to negate that cap, and unfortunately, he's going to back off. I'm looking at Iris. Really just tell how immobile the, uh, the yeah. matches are. Taking so long to get to the points. Looking at Iris Abensola at the moment, the staff, who is playing a pretty offensive power... Actually, no, playing a pretty offensive Condi build here. The usual Condi build, I believe. Mesmer's had just popped the Time Warp. Uh, stunning, stunning Styles is going to have to get out of there. And it looks like a lot, if they don't jump on the point within the next few seconds... No, oh, actually, nice job there. They get him off the point. Um, but it seems Necros are going to have pretty much complete cap control, and they get it. So M M Necros are going to get the initial cap advantage. And there goes the Lich Form actually, out on uh, Airman Tomb. Hmm. If they've got a MOA, they should probably pop it right about now. they got We're, two MOAs up on the team right now. And, and now, like I said, we saw this too. Airman Tomb is being very careful because I'm pretty sure he knows that his that this form is pretty squishy as he's getting bursted down now. Um, actually, a nice job yeah, there by the Mesmer. The Mesmer the stops right in time. Mm -hmm. That MOA was kind of a waste. He was going to drop down there anyways. Mesmers just did an amazing job and just wrecked the entire Necro team. I don't know if they were planning that, but that went perfectly for them. They just took down pretty much everyone on that point. And they're going to get that back with no trouble at all. We also have one more Mesmer who's going to push towards Hens. Meanwhile, we have two Necros sort of trying to sneak it back up to the Keeper, trying to negate a cap. We have one Mesmer over here who looks like he's trying to go for Spiner to take him out. And Necros aren't going to be nearby, so more than likely they're going to get that easily. We do have, once again, though, Necros are coming out of the spawn here now. And we have two more coming up to the keep. I think this is a little early for them to jump on the keep, especially with how they were just wiped there. But we're going to see how this plays out anyway. Looking at Mothra's well, skills. They, get there in time. they do have multiple measures tied mm. up with, uh, with Swanee right now. So Moth Moth Mothra's skills actually with a nice decap there. They burst down uh, Stunning Styles pretty easily, and they're going to get the decap going. However, he's getting really low here, and he's going to go down again. Nice burst by Rier. She just takes him out. And Signa Vendef actually does get interrupted. Mm. Uh, that's a perfect interrupt on Black Avarice's uh, on Signa Vendef. We're seeing more members of the... We're seeing more members of the Mesmer team come in here as well. Again, Mesmer's are really seem to be coming up, up on top of these team fights so far. And um, the Necromancers have nice control, but the Mesmer's just seem to really have superior damage. And they're, they're definitely doing good with keeping Condis down. I'm not seeing a lot of... We are seeing Condis because obviously they're Necros, but we're not seeing a lot of them staying on for too long. One thing to note here is that the all the Mesmers have like an innate uh, stun or a, a daze rather built hmm. into their build, and Necromancers are really susceptible to dazes just because all everything that they have has a cast time, and a lot of things have a long cast time. If you're able to stun lock or daze lock a Necromancer, they can't really do anything. Yeah. And we are seeing again just uh, Necromancers. Honestly, hopefully they realize this soon. They're gonna need to change up their strategy. They are. They do have someone taking down to their boss over here. But they are, I think they have to realize real quickly here that Mesmer actually does have the, um, the, 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 the uh, ah, the, the words, the yeah, words, sorry, a... the debuff cleanse that, that they need to keep the Necker's, uh, debuffs off them, so, I was lost for words there, I do apologize for that. It's insightful. Blah, blah, yes. blah. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, I'm, I need to drink Please more water. keep all your clothes on. Psychedelic Spy currently looking at his point of view for the moment. Nice job here reinforcing. They are going to take um They are going to pretty much knock him off the point. He's really not going to have a chance here. Opening up the map to see where the rest of the Nekos are. More are coming out of the spawn now, and they are going to jump on keep again. Let's take a look at the keep here. Oh, man. Iris Abensole getting wrecked in a plague form. He has to jump out of that, and unfortunately, due to a lot of confusions and even conditions on himself, He's unfortunately going to get knocked out, and there won't be much chance for him to get back up. You know, with running uh, these wells and these necros, you would think they'd have the advantage on these points if they yeah. actually get the wells down on the points correctly and get them off of those. You know, there's you can't fairly easily. There's that, but if you notice, the neck the mesmers are actually playing on that. They're playing extremely passively and sort of waiting for their chances to strike with that. And then once the, all the all the wells and stuff have expired, they just rush onto the point and absolutely wreck all these all these necro mesmers. And it's really working really well for them. And this is a, they're 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 definitely they definitely have a nice um, job here going on being directed. So Aperman Tomb also going down at the moment here. 
And also, we're seeing the Mesmers delaying these stomps a lot when it's necessary, so they're really just... It's like, it's like they know they can beat them, but they don't trust them anyway. And we are gonna see, looks like three Mesmers come up around the back, maybe to diverge on the keep, possibly to go around over here to mine as well. It's gonna, we really need to see where they go, so we're gonna take a look at this camera here. And they are gonna jump on point, unfortunately there was a Phantasm there. Yeah, it's no, I don't look at that. Rear are currently on the point here. Black Avar is already popping his Plague form. Mesmer's popping Time Warp. Oh, just a really iffy engagement there by the Necromancers, and they just really, there's, someone jumped in too early or something, and they just, they really got split up. Again, Mez, we saw this with the Engineers too. Mez was just doing a phenomenal job at keeping control of their opposing team. Again, Mothra just popped into Lich Form and he got Moa'd almost immediately. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much holding those Moa's just for the Lich Form, which actually is a great plan. Um, at this point, I don't think the uh, ne the uh, minion Necro is much of a threat. He's just sitting back point, so yeah. they're using it perfectly. Everman Tomb uh, tried to go for mine again, but it seems, again, Mesmers were there to hold it. Mesmers are currently up 356 points to 213 for the blue team. It's really unfortunate when they try to get these back caps, they just have no mobility. It's kind of sad that a, a, a Mesmer can be over more mobile than a Necromancer is. Mm. So we're going to be looking at Aherman Tomb here going up, taking on us. we got two members of the Mesmer team here on this point. That was a really good use of distortion there. He's able to immune the entire mm -hmm. well. So a nice, nice job done there. Uh, Necros seem to honestly have more conditions being thrown on them than the Necros are throwing on the Mesmers. That defies logic. That, that defies yeah. logic. Uh, Guild Wars logic, I cannot comprehend. Actually, with all the conditions being thrown around, we might see a plague signet come back, uh, come out next round. I, I'm some of those Connies back onto the other team. I'm kind of hoping it does as well. So again, we're seeing Mesmers just absolutely evict the Necromancers from every single point they attempt to go for. Amazing job by the Mesmers this game. Um, they, like I said before, they did this with the engineers too. They know where their enemy is, and they just keep them. They just block them off, keep them separated from each other, and that is making them. And that is allowing them to be able to pull off these key plays and just keep them off the point. Split them up, kill them before they even get there half the time, and just just generally tear apart their strategy. Um, yeah, the Mesmers are doing a really great job of rotating where they need mm. to be. As you can see, those five Mesmers went home point, and they're, they're running back to mid now. But there was no threat at all of keeping decapped. I'm assuming they're probably getting a really good calls on heads on what points and uh, where the uh, where the Necros are where. Currently taking down Chieftain, trying to get some points back. And unfortunately, with two points, it looks like the Mesmers are going to take the first round. Yeah, I don't think there's any denying that at this mm. point. And 493, 495, 497, and Henge is also being decapped. That's a GG. Mezzers are going to take the first round. Pretty, pretty decisive. Um, like, they, they really, the Necros, Necros have been bursting their way through this tournament, but it seems that the Mezzers are really just teaching them a lesson now. And you're definitely right, I mean, especially with the many illusionary berserkers they have going out right now, they're def definitely getting a lot of Kani stacks there. They're not really running Kani, but I think they, if they popped in maybe a Plague Signet to get some of these Confusion stacks and these Bleed stacks back from the Necromancers back onto the Mesmer team, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. Uh, I don't think Plague, or I don't think Plague Signet is really that dependable, but it'd be interesting to see them at least try it. It's gonna be fun to see next game. Uh, Air Heaven 2 made an interesting little emoticon face there. He was somewhat either angry or disappointed <laughs> in his team as of, the, face. as of the pending result of